Blue Exorcist chapter 137 is out, and this was another epic chapter, and well worth the one month wait. Now, a lot happened in this chapter that, I'm, I'm gonna say it, there's a lot of two-page spreads in this chapter as well, and honestly, Kato-sensei is really doing a really great job with this series, and I am so, so excited to see where we're gonna go from here, because it seems things are going to be get very exciting and very quickly. But let's hit that intro and get right into the video. So chapter 137 of Blue Exorcist titled Of One Cloth Affliction, which starts off from last time where Satan took a freaking rocket launcher to the face that was designed to to try and kill him. Everyone is celebrating that they got a direct hit, and Felis is actually complimenting Yukio for managing to land the shot. But he says, the real task lies ahead. As see inside this dark cloud where Satan is stuck inside, he notices his hand is starting to evaporate and boil up from what the rocket launcher had inside it. He cries out in agony and says, I am a god, what have you done? As he then somehow manages to make Rin's flame saber just start to bubble up and then it explodes as Satan is then exhausted and falls to the ground in the middle of a crater. So the Devil Punisher weapon actually worked and it stated that they're going to start doing the sealing ritual right now. But they're wondering where Angel is as we cut to where Angel is actually fighting off that amalgamated clone mutant thing as they continue to clash. Noting that it's very very fast for something of the of its size. All the other exorcists are being told to get put, go into the Impera b barrier in order to get safe. All the exorcists are running into the barrier as Sir Felis says that now it's time that they begin. The Gregory, currently in the area, says that after she's departed they need to continue using the Aria. As then someone off screen calls for the Gregory Shimihaza as I believe it is finally confirmed this is Shiemi. She walks in stating thanks for waiting and that she will continue the Ampera. As the person who was holding it up before says, I'll leave it to you, calls out to a Maimon and says, let's go. It's very hard to kind of tell a bit because uh, the Shemihaza Grigori and Shiemi's outfits look identical. So it's incredibly hard to tell late in this chapter if it's actually Shiemi that stays behind to keep the barrier up or if it is actually this Grigori that is uh, going off to perform the ceiling ritual. I'm thinking that Shiemi is the one keeping the barrier up, if I'm being honest. But it, it is kind of hard to tell with the outfits looking basically identical and it's kind of hard with the body types also. Satan is coughing and wheezing, saying that he feels terrible and his head is splitting. As an Amaimon and the Grigori land in the middle of the crater, as Felis calls out to Satan, stating, Have you enjoyed your transparent flesh to the fullest? As he says, it's time to take a nap, and he begins chanting a spell. As he then opens up a giant gate in the sky, as it then connects over to something else. Lightning noticing that it is connected to the Heavenly Garden, where the crystallization of Shemihaza is, and they're going to use that tree, that crystallization, to seal off Satan. Satan, still coughing and wheezing, states that no matter what they do, it's going to be futile. As then, the Grigori begins to chant, and I think it is a bit clearer that this is not Shiemi. She then begins the chanting as we see the, the tree beginning to creak through the portal and entering into the battlefield in the crater. As we get multiple pages showing the tree going around Satan, engulfing him, and even planting roots inside of Satan, as we see him in agony trying to resist as the chanting continues. Lightning states that Shemihaza was going to seal Satan by using the overgrown root crystallization to bind Satan's flesh to the very earth. And as the Gregory continues this, this chant, they begin to bleed from the strain. Until finally, they stop and the tree completely engulfs Satan. For a second, she coughs up blood and everyone thinks that it might have actually worked. They hold their breath as in the next panel, which is a two-page spread by the way, the tree explodes. Satan breaks free. And then we see in this flash of light a little black orb where Satan is supposed to be. As then, Sir Felis is blown back in another two page spread, showing that the sheer force of the explosion is pushing everything back and causing destruction. But then, just as soon as everything begins to be blown away, this dark void that was created by Satan ends up reversing 
the course of the explosion as it begins to suck everything around it in through a giant vortex like it's a black hole in the, another amazing double page spread. Seriously, I think Kondo Sensei is really laying it in with these double page spreads to make the month wait worth it for the fans and I'm all happy for it because they look amazing. We see images of debris and buildings and pieces of, of the airship that the Illuminati had previously getting sucked up in there and we get to see an image of this little of the barrier. Jemmy is still trying to keep it up but it seems like the sheer force of this whole barrier cannot keep up with the giant black hole type thing that is absorbing everybody and everything around it. So it seems like everybody's trying to evacuate through the door connecting to the True Cost Academy. We then cut back briefly to Angel fighting the amalgamated clone creature as he says it's time to end this and uses Angelic Rain to launch towards this creature to land a finishing blow. And for a second, it seems like Angel won. But then the mutated clone begins to chuckle, telling Angel that he finally got impatient and came in close. As then the clone's flesh begins to tangle around Angel, surprising him, and then creating a hand piercing Angel in the neck. Right from behind, as Angel collapses on the ground as lightning calls out to him, and it seems that he is beginning to get pulled in with the rest of the debris. The X wires are being pulled in as well, but Shura manages to help grab everyone and keep their footing but it seems like they are not safe right now as they're also getting close to being pulled in with the rest of their, their surroundings as it is stated by one of the professors and the creator of the devil punisher that it was as he suspected human beings cannot defeat this foe as the mountain they were on gets pulled into this giant whirlpool as Yukio calls out to Rin. As then in the final two page spread of the chapter we see a giant cloud like vortex where this black hole was and the top is another cloud-like vortex in pitch dark with lightning everywhere engulfing the entire area ending the chapter another really good chapter for blue exorcist honestly the month-long waits have been worth it recently ever, ever since the hiatus ended and i am so happy to see where this goes so from what i can tell the whole thing with this devil punisher weapon was to basically in inject satan with a virus to make him sick and weaken him for long enough so that they could use the, the Shemihama crystallization from the Heavenly Garden to seal Satan away in the earth forever. And that was honestly the best plan they can come up with and it seems like that was the only real way for them to come up with to beat Satan. Because Satan is basically in a somewhat immortal body right now so they basically can't kill him seemingly. So the best thing for them to do is to seal Satan away permanently in the earth. Honestly not that bad of a plan. Unfortunately Satan managed somehow whether it be from some big reaction from the poison plus Shemihaza and Satan's own power causing one giant explosion and sucked everybody into a vortex. My theory for this is that whatever happened just now Perhaps it created a portal to Gehenna, where the demons are from, and Satan got pulled in there as a last resort to save himself, or by like some adverse side effect, and everybody else that was in the area got sucked in with him. The X-Wires, Rin, some of the other exorcists, and maybe even Shiami as well. And then there's the last line of the chapter, where it was stated that humans can't really surpass a demon this strong, can't surpass satan which once more kind of makes it seem like it's all gonna come down to rin rin does have satan's power to the blue flames so it is very likely that rin is going to be the one to beat him 100 at some point now this might be the end of the current arc from what i can tell like they did everything they could but they couldn't beat satan and now we're going into the next arc which will probably be the final arc unless this is all counted as one single arc as we move forward for all we know but i'm excited to find out because one thing i do want I feel like it's being set up for Satan to fight Rin, Yukio, Shura, and all the X-Wires so they can take down Satan in Satan's home turf. I don't know if we're going to go that far, but since Gehenna and uh, since Gehenna and Earth have kind of been like linked already, it makes sense if we're going to ha have an arc to explore that area. But still, it's all just speculation at this point. We have a month-long wait, and it's going to be a nice way to start off the, the new year, so I'm really excited to see what happens with Blue Exorcist next. I'm always excited whenever a new chapter comes out, so yeah, I honestly enjoyed it. What did you guys think of this chapter? Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below, as well as theories on what this black hole thing was, where do you think the story is going from now, what happened to everybody. Leave everything in the comment section below, 
and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to update for updates on future videos it really does help and it shows you guys like the blue excess content on the channel i will continue to bring you guys blue excess content every single month so don't worry about it and with all that said and done i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you all have an awesome day